Hello friends, welcome back to our course Math Essential for Machine Learning and before we continue with our journey, uh, first let's see what actually is machine learning and during this machine learning what are we actually trying to do, right, what are we trying to figure it out and it's very, uh, you know, becomes convenient if we can understand the crux of it and if we can have a very simple example around it, right, alright, so for example, uh, I want to buy a house um, in in a, in the city of Pune in India. Okay, uh, but my problem is um, I don't know wh wh based on what I should be uh, predicting that what would be my cost of the house. Right. So what I do is I go to that area where I want to buy a property and I ask few people and get some rough idea right and uh, see based on that what would be the size of the house and what would be the cost price of or sale price of that house right so after that experiment i got these five records here okay and once i got the data uh, but then my main intention is to buy a 1400 square feet house but then in my data set i could not find a house at that point of time while i was doing the interview uh, a 1400 square feet house and what would be the sale price of that house right so you know but it seems that you know there are some relationship between the area of the house and the sale price okay but I don't know that relationship at this point of time so what I do is um, I call my f a very good friend of mine and ask him hey can you tell me the relationship you know of the uh, th this is the data and can you tell me the relationship between this area of the house uh, and the sale price and you know that day when I called him he was very busy <laughs> and he roughly told me you know what um, the sale price is nothing but a fixed value which is the minimum sale price of that house uh, when I you know I was speaking to him over the phone I realized that uh, that doesn't seem quite correct but Nonetheless, I had nothing better to do, <laughs> right? So I agreed to his uh, point. I said, "Okay, fine. Then the minimum sale price, right? In this case, is one thousand. Oh, sorry, hundred and seventy-five thousand dollar. Yeah, a fixed value. And I thought, okay, uh, then this is the relationship." And but then it seems uh, the relationship is not actually uh, the uh, uh, as close to the reality, right? So that means there are some error in that assumption. Okay, and this concept, right? Uh, that describe trying to describe the relationship between the area of the house and the sale price, and how much are you wrong, right? How wrong you are, uh, is called as the cost function in the field of machine learning right a fancy term right so it says how wrong are you while you are describing your data right so in this case I can see that uh, here about $25,000 I am wrong here about uh, roughly around $75,000 I am wrong here I guessed it right here I am again $50,000 I am wrong and then here I am $125,000 wrong that means if I add all these mistakes, so typically in machine learning what we do is we take the square root of all these errors, okay. So in the first case, in this case, okay, uh, I made a mistake of how much? $25,000, right. So I just square that. Then in the second case, I made a mistake of uh, around $75,000 okay in the third case i made a mistake oh i did not make a mistake i was actually correct uh, oh sorry my friend was actually correct uh, so it's zero then i have 225000 dollar minus 175 so it's around 50000 dollar okay 50000 and then this are all under the square root okay and then i have 125000 dollar okay so this is the total error and uh, you know i already did the calculation for you to save some time and this comes roughly around 156000 dollar roughly okay okay 
so that means if I follow my friend's suggestion then I will be making a mistake of plus minus hundred and fifty six thousand dollar so that means if I predict a house uh, the sale price of a house for a 1400 square feet I am going to be off by a huge value and that is not acceptable I don't have that much of spare money to waste okay so that's not a good uh, uh, technique or good number to start with so what I'm going to do is um, but this gives me an uh, idea that if I can somehow improve this or reduce this error then that may that way I can be closer to my prediction or the actual values right so why not I keep a track of all this okay so let's look into that in the in our next video